So what are we doing to this then? So this is an early 60s brand, which is a customer's um, granddad's guitar, so it's a bit of a family heirloom. What we've done so far, we've removed the fingerboard by steaming it off. Um, the slot was completely wrong, so we've filled that, re-put the truss rod in, uh, and then glued the fingerboard back on. Because it's old, obviously the wood shrinks and changes. So once it's glued back on, you have all manner of problems. So we're now refretting by taking all the frets out. And the fretboard is completely unlevel and all over the place. So I've managed to level it by sounding various parts. Because um, there's like a, a dip there and a hump there. So it's all had to be leveled. Um, and we've got the frets on order. So once they're here, we're going to make sure those slots are all all nice and deep enough for all the slots. And then um, we, yeah, so we'll get all the frets in. Level it, get it all on, and then we've got this going back on. Excuse the dust. But yeah, so then that goes all back together. In with the glue. A bit more towards this end. Some hammering from that end, so a little bit less room there. Using a medium glue. Then get rid of the excess. Pre-cut fret, so it's only about four mil wider than the slot either side. Pop it on there, then it works. It's got a few. So we've got to glue this on. So this switch, which is quite a quite a beast, it's got a bit of torque on there, um, requires this to be glued on in order for it to function. Our uh, concern. Our uh, concern, uh, yeah. But it worked. Pickups were both not working properly. One not at all. This one not very well. Uh, they've both been retinned. Uh, so that means now that we're getting the full connection, uh, ground and hot. Uh, the nut, um, as you can see from above, the spacing is what it is. But it's a, it's original, uh, and that's how we're going to leave it. Uh, all in all, this should make a noise in the next. 18 minutes. It's done at last. Uh, this is this has been through a lot with us. Uh, poor old thing, it's family heirloom. Uh, just wanted to get it working basically, but that was quite a tall order considering the state it was in. So what we've done is totally tear it apart, sort it out from the ground up. Um, just in summary, we have uh, taken, when the base came to us, we've steamed off the fretboard to get under there to rip out the old truss rod. The old truss rod, it turns out, was totally rubbish. It was actually installed at an angle like that diagonally, which just totally wrong. I think that was just a factory accident. The next thing was that when you mount a truss rod, you want to have a slot which gets deeper here in the centre, piece of wood on top of that and then hide that underneath the fretboard. It was actually the opposite of that. So what it means is if you tighten up the truss rod nut, the truss rod actually forces it that way, the more pressure you have, which is completely useless because the string are also pull it that way, so you can have it Racks like that or forced that way with the strips, so totally wrong. Anyway, so we put a new uh, double action rod inside there, glued it all back up, covered our tracks, made it look like we hadn't done anything. That was quite an effort. Um, so if you take this off here, you'll see a modern hexagonal nut hiding under there. Um, you wouldn't know. <laughs> That's the point, I suppose. So after all that, um, we now have a neck which we can change the shape of, which is great. Um, so, it's had a, a full new set of frets, they are a big lovely size, uh, it's, it's the same width as the original, they're just a little bit um, shinier, truer, straighter, they're just a tiny bit taller than the last one, so it's future proof if you like, so this will be ready to accept some fret dresses in the future if it so needs. Uh, but yeah, with the truss rod controllable at last, and a new set of frets are actually true, it means we can actually get the damn thing to play right. Um, so it's had a new zero fret there, it's had a new string guide thingy up there, um, we've done a little bit of wiring repair on it, we've uh, re-glued this cover back on the Burns Trisonic pickup, 
Um, oh yeah, and as we took off all this, it gets a bit messy, so what we have done is resprayed that. We're give, giving it a light touch with a black nitrocellulose paint, and that's, that's the original black fade in there, and here. So you can see the original glue joint there, which actually sound, it's just a bit ruptured. Old nitro paint, we've put exactly the same thing on, so you give that six months, that'll be just as, as ropey looking as the rest of it. It's a winner. Finally there. It's all sorted. <laughs> <laughs>